Happy National Eyewear Day, everybody. All right, so Jordan and Tina, you know, all morning long, we've been asking to see photos of people's eyewear, whether they're sunglasses or eyeglasses. Well, today I put on some cool specs by my friend here, Dennis, the owner of That Guy Eyewear. He is certainly no stranger to this show. Good morning, Dennis. How are you doing today? Good, good. Uh, in Sacramento, just off of Del Paso Boulevard, such a cool spot. You look around, it doesn't really feel like you're at an, an eyewear place. It kind of just feels like you just walked into, you know, someone's house, really good vibe, and it's just, it's good energy here. Well, thank you very much. I really, we put a lot of work into it. Some of the pictures on the wall were done by some of the kids in the neighborhood. Uh, we went and found them at Grand High School. Um, and yeah, it was just an eclectic way of putting the place yeah. together. And how, how long have you been around? We've been six years this month. Six years this month. Well, con well first of all, happy anniversary. Okay. Six years to you. Okay, so here's the thing, Dennis. You like to say, I scour the earth to find the most rare and exclusive sunglasses. Tell me about that process. Well, that's really true. Uh, we, we try to do a lot of refurbishing of vintage eyewear and also uh, try to find some of the most eclectic eyewear that I can find, things that you're not going to find anywhere else. Yeah. For example, uh, we have some stuff right, through right here. This is a Michelle Lotlan vintage edition. Ooh. Okay, I feel like Tina Jordan, I should try on all these, right? So I put this on because it matched my shirt, but we're going to switch this up really quick. <laughs> Tell Dennis so what hi. is this one again? This is called a fortune by Michelle. Tina Makua says hi. Hi, Tina. How are you today? Hi. Oh, oh those look so good, this Ash. This is called a fortune by Michelle Atlan, vintage edition. He's a designer that's out of L.A. He's from France. Ooh, okay. and, and actually a real guy. He's not Calvin Klein. Okay. He's all somebody right, that I right. speak to on a regular so basis. So Tina says they look good, which means I'm going to set these aside because I actually need a new pair, guys. All right, let's go. I want you to go. try this on because it's going to be seen in your studio by... Yes. By who, we, should, we, we should wait. I'm not gonna Someone oh, recently on name. our staff just name. bought these. We oh, will not say her name. Okay. But they probably look better. Oh, they might look better on me than her. <laughs> oh. What do you think? <laughs> we won't say her name. We won't say her name. Nah. Right, right, right. Oh, sorry, hey girl. I might be coming for you. I'm setting those on the side too. Okay, um, okay cool. Let's talk about sunglasses. Okay. Because you guys, check this out. Martini sunglasses. Can I try those on, please? Try those on. Be careful. It's gonna poke your cheek. Okay, they're gonna poke my cheeks, huh? There you go. Oh, they do poke the cheeks. <laughs> There we go. I'm feeling it now. Um, how much do some of these glasses go for, considering that you do, once again, scour the earth um, to find the best? Well, wow, you know, those are awesome. Price. Most of our pricing is anywhere uh, $300 or below. Okay. Or lower. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go for one more pair. Um, now, what would you say is generally the most sought after style of sunglasses or eyeglasses these days? Well, the most sought after style of eyeglasses would be this one. There's another Michelle Island. Oh, nice. What's that the price range? Colors. Um, and that's okay. just been a phenomenal piece for me. Yeah. It, oh, it just flies yeah. out of here. Really, not yeah. phenomenal for me. I'm going to take these off. Yeah, I think not the for me. Uh, I like the ones. first one. Yeah, we. we you we like those? Okay, yeah. here we go. Yeah. The, what would you say is the the price range for most of these glasses? This one that's one is one ninety five. Oh, that's not bad so at all. Not bad at all. And no. why would you? Enc I mean, not to say that pe people could do what they want, but why would you encourage someone to come here versus uh, maybe just their straight eye doctor who they generally because go see? Because most of the time, when you go to an eye doctor, you're going to find the same stuff based on insurance driven oh, I see. purchasing that they do. Gotcha. So if you go to an independent optician, there's several of us in town, and we're going to gotcha. have the most unique styles. Okay. And we also keep them around a lot longer. Okay, all right. So Tina and Jordan. I actually, I, I think. Like the blue. I, no, try the first one. You know why that first glass? Is is the first one matches your shirt and that clip. hole that you have this in right front here? in your shirt. Oh, excuse, excuse me. It matches my hole in my shirt. Yeah, you, oh. have, you have a hole. <laughs> I mean, that's intentional. I hope oh, people at home oh, don't I, think that I'm just out here. I wasn't sure. No, you had to it's explain. supposed to be there. <laughs> it's supposed to be distressed, Jordan. Got it, got uh, it. Thank you so much, Jen. It's always good to see you. So cool to celebrate this uh, this holiday. If people want to get in contact with you, how can they do that? They can call 299-3277 um, um, yeah. for the uh, North Sacramento Optometry Clinic. Okay. Or 226-0257 for That Guy Eyewear. All right. That Guy Eyewear. There he is. That Looks Guy great. Eyewear. Back awesome. on over to you guys. Sounds Talking good. about my shirt, Jordan. <laughs> I like the blue ones. I like the blue it ones. It looks Ash. good on you. Ashley looks good in it. There we go. <laughs>